Hey guys, welcome to today's video. So what I'm thinking we're going to go over in this one is how to jump into character creation, uh, making a character, getting them rigged up and animated. Um, one of the things I will mention is that in order to do the rigging and animating, we are actually going to send our character over to Mixamo to get that done, which is a free site by Adobe. So let's jump right into it with a new project in Blender 4.2. Cool, so we have our scene here, and one of the first things we wanna do is we actually wanna throw on a mirror modifier to this cube. The reason why is that generally we wanna keep our characters symmetrical. Um, and that mirror modifier will just let us do that. So whatever we, whatever changes we make to one side will happen to the other side. So let's jump into edit mode right here, and then we are going to go into face select mode, then right click and subdivide our cube. Then we are going to pop on our x-ray mode so we can see through the cube and we're gonna grab half of it and then we'll just hit delete. Oops. We want to delete just the faces. There we go. Okay, cool. So then let's come over to the modifier tab and we're going to add our oops, mirror modifier. And so you can see it starts off with the mirror on the X axis, but since our cube, we want to mirror along the Y axis, we're just gonna turn that off and hit Y, cool. So then after this, we want to add a subdivision surface modifier. And that's just because, again, most people are not blocky in with hard lines and corners. So that'll just help smooth out our shape. And we can actually increase our subdivisions to three. Cool, but now whatever we do to one side will happen to the other side. So you can see I can grab a face and move that and it happens to the other side. Cool. So the first thing that we want to do is start working on our chest and torso area. So let's say that we're calling this the front of the chest. What we want to do is kind to kind of bring in our, our, um, our character's chest and back and make them a little bit skinnier. So the way that we can do this is by grabbing these two front faces and grabbing our move tool. And let's bring that in a bit. And the same thing over here, let's bring this in. And then we can tighten it up right here too just kind of get a general torso shape going so <clears throat> one of the things that you're seeing happen with the subdivision surface modifier is that it's rounding these edges but let's say that i don't want a rounded edge i want this to be kind of flat like where where their waist would be so what i can do is i can actually add a loop cut and loop cut is just over here so let's select that Make sure you're in face mode. And when I add that loop cut, if I slide it, so um, if I click and drag it all the way down, it will start to flatten out that area, which is exactly what we want. Cool, so again, this is all about just kind of massaging um, our shapes here and getting this to look generally like a torso. And this is all going to change depending on the type of character that you want to make. So feel free to follow along uh, or make your own changes. So I'm just kind of bringing this in a little bit. We can bring it up a little bit just to kind of like, you know, get the curvature of the back. But not too bad. Okay, so what we probably want to do now is start bringing some arms into the fold. So I'm going to grab these two um, faces right here and I actually want to join them because I don't want to um, have them extrude as two separate faces so once I have them selected what I can do is I can actually click the F key and that will make them one new face um, and then I can come over here and insert a face and you can see that it didn't do anything sometimes the cursor gets stuck and doesn't actually reflect the change if that ever happens you see that in the bottom corner you get some options for what it is that you were trying to do and i can just bring the thickness in right here like that okay and now i want to extrude this out because this is going to be our arm 
the way that we do that is just come here to the extrude tool and we will just pull that out. Cool. So like I said earlier, um, see how this is rounding right here? I don't really want that. And so I'm going to come back through with my loop cut and bring that to the edge. And that kind of makes it, you know, he's wearing a long sleeve shirt. Okay, so one of the other things that's happening right here is you can see that our line got buried. Um, our segment got buried in, in the, sh the um, shoulder. So, and, and it's making it harder to grab that. So what I can do is I can come up here to the x-ray and make sure I'm selected on lines. With my cursor, I can grab this and I'm just going to grab my move tool kind of bring that up a bit and bring it out. Cool. So now when I turn off x-ray mode, it's still buried in there, but that's how you can adjust it if you ever want. So, um, I don't like, I want to, I want to make this tighter in here. I want to bring that We're kind of like the armpit would be. I kind of want to bring that up. So I'm just going to grab that line. Just kind of move that in there. Okay, <clears throat> not too bad. So um, now what I want to do is I want to push in the sleeve where a hand would go. I also think that that's probably a little bit too big. So I'm just going to grab this face here. I'm going to hit S to scale and just kind of bring that down a little bit. And then I'm going to actually use the extrude tool again and push that inward. Cool. All right, so now we're going to start working on where our neck would be. So I'm going to just come here and grab these two lines and move them inward a little bit. Move this line back. Cool. Again, all we're doing is we're just trying to, you know, massage the shape into looking more like a person. So, um, like we did earlier, we have two, um, two faces right here that as, as you can see, as I scale them, they start scaling individually and we got some weirdness happening. So I'm going to hit F and scale that that way. And it looks like this should be merging. Oops. So I think one of the things I can do is shrink that down a bit and then I should be able to grab this line and move it and it'll snap. See how they joined each other right there? That's what this merge distance is doing. Do that until you see it snap and we're good. Cool. Cool. Okay, so I'm still not liking this part right here. So I'm going to go back into face mode. I think I could probably put a loop cut in here. There we go. Yep, exactly. That'll tighten that up. One of the things I'm also going to do is uh, select this and then just auto smooth just so I can start to see what it will look like. Cool. That works for me. Okay, so the next thing that we're going to do is let's add some legs. So this is going to be a really sim. Um, this is going to be pretty similar to what we did for the torso. So we're going to add in our um, another cube mesh add mesh cube. Here we go. Okay. So for this one, we're going to add another subdivision surface. 
turn that up to three the cool thing is when i tab into this we can still see our our cube right here i'm going to kind of scale this down a little bit and move it I'll tab back into here and I don't think I'm going to use the mirror modifier on this one. It could end up being a mistake later, but I think I can do it without. bringing that in a bit to raise that up okay cool again just because I like to see it we're gonna right click and shade auto smooth okay so all right now let's actually bring our legs down so we're gonna hop back into edit mode and we're gonna insert um, a loop cut So I think what we'll do is use our knife tool. Oops, I'm just trying to get a, a flat look at it. Okay, so I just click here and then click to the other end and then I can left click to, to stop making my cut. Click to confirm it, left click. Sorry, right. So it's it's left click to confirm it and then right click to um to stop. Do the same thing here. Right click to let go. And then we'll just add in another one here. So now we have some separate faces that we can work with without adding more geometry to the top. So we're going to grab each one of those faces and then we can just extrude downward. There we go. Something like that. Cool. So we got some weirdness happening. We're just going to deal with that. Um, oops. I'm just kind of cleaning up the line work now the one thing to keep in mind and this is the drawback of not using the mirror modifier is that now everything i do i have to um, mirror myself so i don't know something to think about but i'm just going to grab those lines and bring them in a little bit and then we'll do it to the same to the other side bring those in just a bit cool grab these vertices and bring them up a little bit give them a little bit of a butt everyone's got a little bit of a butt and bring these guys up Cool. So then um, to kind of, again, fix our pointy little legs here, we're going to insert a edge loop. Bring that down. Bottom one here, bring that down. If you ever see me... Um, like grab something. So like, let's say I had a different tool. Like let's say I'm on the edge loop tool and I want to like move a line 
So if you ever see me just grab a line and then um, all of a sudden the move widget appears up like that. You can you can always call that up by using the icon right here or the way that I'm doing it is I'm hitting shift then space bar which pulls up this menu and then hitting G for move. So next let's add a head and neck should be pretty easy so what we're going to do is we're going to add in another cube and you guessed it we're going to add another subdivision surface modifier crank up the subdivisions on that to about three move that up to where our head would be Let's scale that down and then let's actually give it three or four and then shade auto smooth. Now we can tab into it, grab this bottom face. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hide, I'm gonna hide our torso for right now, just so we can see the bottom of this a little easier. Okay, so then we're gonna tab into that. We're gonna grab that bottom face and then we're going to insert a face. Again, this thing's been kind of weird. So when it does that, watch for this little window to pop up and then we can dial it into our heart's content. So now that that is there, we're going to extrude down. This will kind of act as our neck. And then we can come right here to the edge loop or loop cut, throw that in to kind of round out the bottom of the neck. Just smooth out. Let's throw our torso back on and raise that up a little bit. Cool, so we need, let's give him a bit of a chin. So we're gonna come into edit mode. You can just grab this first little line right here and use our move tool. Let's kind of just, let's put a chin. You can go to vertice select mode and grab those two vertices and scale them down on the Y axis. Kind of bring out the forehead a bit. Cool. Next thing we want to do is start adding in some facial features. So like before, you guessed it, we're going to add another cube. And again, you, you can do this through the add tool up here, um, add mesh cube, or the way that I'll probably end up doing it is shift A and then come to mesh and cube. We have this cube here, so we are going to add in another subdivision surface modifier. Turn up the subdivisions and then right click and auto smooth. I'm gonna use this to make a little nose. So let's bring this up and then S to scale. And if you want a perfectly round nose, you can stop right there. I do not. So we will grab it and then go into edit mode. And then into our line select mode. Grab this, I'm gonna just scale it down on the Y axis, which is running this way. Give it a little bit more dimension than just a, a subdivided circle cube. Uh, so sphere, oh my God. You can bring that out a little bit. With a big nose. Loop cut. Grab that. It should space G. Bring that back a little bit. I think we can help this guy with his nose problem here. It's a little bit too much. Let's see. We want to rotate this so I can select this, hit R and then Y to rotate along the Y axis and just give it a little bit of a 
a turn upwards. Not the best nose, but I think it conveys what we're trying to do. All right, so now let's make some ears. So we're gonna do the same way. You're gonna get really tired of hearing this. Add mesh cube. Then we are going to add a subdivision surface. Turn up those subdivisions. Right click, auto smooth. We're gonna tab into it. And then grab a face here. And let's, let's do that. Let's flatten it out. I'm gonna give him some big round ears. So if this ever happens where you see your cursor is away from your geometry, what you can actually do is right click on it and set, um, which one is it? Origin to geometry. And that will snap that origin point right back to the shape you're working with. I'm gonna get this in place, scale it down a little bit because no one deserves ears like that, especially when you have a nose like that. Gonna get that level. So one of the other things that I like to do is I come in here and I will insert a face. And then we can um sorry. So grab the face, drag that down, and then we're gonna use the extrude region to push it back. Like that. Now we have a little depth. Cool. And then I'm just going to control C V to copy that. Bring it over. So we're going to move right along and add in some hands. All right. Shift A mesh cube, just like normal. We're going to add a subdivision surface modifier. Turn that up. We're gonna bring it over here, scale it down. Oh, almost forgot. Right click that and shade auto smooth. Cool. So we have this, we're beginning to work on our hand shape. We're gonna keep it simple. Fingers can get real tricky. So we're gonna not do fingers. So we are going to come over here into edit mode. We're going to grab this little face and use the insert face. Remember, it got kind of weird, so we wait for this window to pop up and then we can control it here. So what I'm doing is I'm creating this space so that we can extrude out our wrist. So we've inserted a face here. We're going to come to the extrude region and we're going to pull that out. And then let's grab these lines right here. We can um, scale them down on the, the Y, sorry, the Z axis, which is gonna bring them closer to each other. So S, Z, we do that. And then let's add in some better loop cuts. So grab the loop cut tool, do that. That doesn't look like a hand. Grab these two and then scale them down on the Z. Can't really see this part, but I'm gonna add another loop cut. And I'm gonna set that back in here. Probably make that a little bigger. Cool. Let's go back into edit mode. We can put a loop cut going this way. The reason we're doing that is so that we now have this segment right here that we can kind of pull out a little bit. And we can control C and V to copy it, we will bring it to the other side. And then I'm just gonna rotate it around the Z axis 180 degrees. So I'm gonna hit R and then Z and then type in 180. And 
can kind of put that like that. All right, let's give this guy some shoes. So the way we're gonna do that, again, add mesh cube, add a subdivision surface, turn that up to about three. Oops. Right click, shade auto smooth, and bring this down to one of his feet or soon to be feet. All right, so now we're gonna scale this down. Can I get this in the right area? Okay, cool. So then we're gonna tab into our edit mode. And we are going to grab this front face right here and extrude it out. Okay. So then the next thing we're gonna do is make a loop cut. It's gonna flatten out the shoe. And then I actually wanna add another one. And the reason why is we can actually give um, a bit of like a, like a rubber sole look with this extra line. So I'm going over to my face mode. I'm making sure I'm back into my normal selector. And I, if I hold alt, and I double click, it will grab the entire ring of faces um, that I want to turn into the sole. So what I can do after that is then actually come to the extrude region and make sure that I'm extruding along normals. And now when I pull that out, you'll see that that sole is starting to happen, but I want this to be a hard crease, a hard line. So we're gonna come back through with our edge loop and Push that in right there. And we're just using these edge loops to support these hard lines. Boom. You're gonna raise that back a little bit. So we're gonna actually drop that down and then go into our edit mode. Go to face select, select that and then we can extrude that upward. I'm gonna grab a loop cut to make that a harder line. Bring that down. I'm gonna go into object mode and kind of push that back up. So you can see that um, our pant leg isn't as is too wide or sorry is too thin so we can bring down the shoe again tab into edit mode make sure we're selecting our faces and just kind of shrink these parts down so i'm going to hold alt and scale down that whole loop So all I'm gonna do is command C, V. All right, so next, like I said, we're gonna start adding some color to this scene. So I want to click over here into my rendered view. I'm actually gonna grab that light and move it forward here, bring it down a little bit. I'm gonna go in the light settings and make the radius bigger so that the light is smoother. And then one of the things that I like to do is I like to come into my world settings right here and then grab this color and I wanna make it black. I think it just makes things pop a little more. Then I'm gonna grab this light, duplicate it, bring one of them behind, lower this down a bit. You can see it's starting to put some light here. I actually want to turn the intensity of this light up quite a bit. I don't know, let's try 4,000. There we go. Cool. So one of the things that's really important with um, this is this process is actually UV unwrapping our guy. So we'll just start with the head, go grab it, go into auto or edit mode, sorry, and hit A to grab all of our faces. And then we are going to actually make sure you're in uh, face select mode, then right click on it, 
and UV unwrap smart UV project and this then just unwrap it cool so now what we can do is we can add a material and we'll call this uh, oops skin color go back into object mode so I can see it better just pick the color that you want kind of dial it in I think that looks good for me okay cool so then what we want to do is that same process but with everything else so grab your uh, your parts uh, go into face select mode type a and right click and then make sure that you smart UV project and unwrap we'll do that to all of these parts just the same way cool so then for the ears we're gonna grab that skin color same thing for the nose Uh, I guess we'll do the hands next. Okay, cool. So we now have our torso. So tab into edit mode, hit A, right click and smart UV project. And smart UV project does a pretty good job. Um, but with some of the shapes, again, like a torso, it, it it's not perfect. Cool. So now let's add a shirt color. What are we thinking? I don't know. Green? Works for me. Move on to the pants. Tab A. Right click. Smart UV project. All these pants. I didn't label a shirt. We can go back and do that. Some blue jeans. Okay, so the shoes are where things get a little different. I only want this part to be red. So I am going to grab it. Oops. Tab into edit mode, hit A. I'm going to UV unwrap faces, smart UV project. Okay, cool. So it's all the same up until this point. So now what I want to do is I want to go into um, edit mode and I want to grab all the faces that I want to have um, my shoe color on. So one of the ways that we can do this is you can see we get, it's a little tiny in here. And so let's find the bottom line and remember I told you if you hold alt and you grab around. Um, so you, you what you want to do is you want to click near the, the line, whatever direction that you want to grab the edge loop in. So if I click towards the top of this, it's going to go vertically. Um, if I click towards the side, it's going to grab the horizontal edge loop. And now I'm just going to hold shift and alt and do that all the way up. So then from here, I'm just going to keep holding down shift and grab oops the rest of the shoe there are parts we can't see but they're going to be hidden so so anyway what we want to do now is hit new and we assigned that Oops, sorry, so hold on, let's make this white. And then what we wanna do is hit plus. So it's gonna add another color to the same material. Um, and then since we have all this selected, we can hit assign. Sorry, 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 hold on. We're gonna hit new and then hit assign. And now when we change it red, you'll see that it left all the white behind that wasn't in the assigned group. And then instead of doing that twice, I'm just gonna delete out that one shoe and copy and paste it to the other side. Okay, so what we wanna do for the eyes 
is we're going to add in a UV sphere. And then we're going to rotate the UV sphere on the Y axis 90 degrees. So R, Y, 90. The cool thing about UV spheres is that they are kind of perfectly set up for eyes. What I mean by that is you can see, so if you think about how we added different color groups um, to our shoes, we can do the same thing with this sphere. So I'm gonna tab into edit mode and I'm gonna grab the faces in the middle here. Um, well, hold on, actually, let's just add a new material. I call this eye. So I want to unwrap the whole thing. So grab all the faces, UV unwrap faces, smart UV project, unwrap. Okay, cool. And again, like I said, that's for later. So now we're gonna grab all these faces right here and these are the ones that we wanna make black. So we're gonna hit that, go new, assign, and then we're gonna turn these black. And now you're starting to see what I mean, that it's it's perfectly set up for what we want to do. So now what we can do is hop back into edit mode and hold alt to grab um, all these. And then we'll hold shift, grab the outer one. We're going to add another slot, make a new material, assign that. And then we can make this like blue. Boom, look at that. And then of course, shade auto smooth. So the one thing with the eyes is we don't need them to be rough. They could be kind of glassy. So we're gonna bring all that roughness down. We're gonna scale these guys down. Look, it's a Cyclops. Um, one thing is I want the white to be a little whiter, a little bit brighter. So I'll just bring that up. Okay. Apparently that's as much as we can do. Change the roughness. Make sure the roughness is down all these. Roughness. Okay, cool. Let's scale that down just a little bit. And then we'll control CV. Bring that over. I think one of the other things we can try adding in is um, kind of like a a black like line to kind of frame the eyeball. I'm just unwrapping the, the eye again just because we added some new geometry. Okay, Alt and grab that section right there. And then like before, add a new material slot, hit new, assign it, and make that black. Yeah, so then we'll delete this one. Duplicate, throw this over here. You know what? You know what this is missing? I figured it out. It's missing eyebrows. Okay, cool. So the way we're going to add some eyebrows is by hitting shift A. We're going to grab a plane and we're going to kind of just make an eyebrow shape. Um, so I'm going to scale it down on the X. Oops. X. There we go. Bring that out a little bit. We're going to rotate it on the Y by 90 degrees. Raise that up. Keep scaling down and give me a unibrow. I think it'd be kind of fun. Okay, cool. So for this, we might want to start adding in some edge loops. So we're going to go into edit mode, add some edge loops. And then we're going to just start trying to match the curvature a little bit. No, it's going to a 
Hyper Text Mode. I'm gonna bring these back a little bit, these top ones. Okay. Just adding a new material. Make those brown. Come over to the modifier tab. Make sure we're in object mode. Solidify. Okay, so now if we start bringing the solidify out, you can see we're getting, we're adding some volume to our eyebrows. We don't need a lot, just enough. And then we'll actually add in a subdivision surface modifier. Right click, shade auto smooth. Yeah, it's not bad. You can just copy and paste that and duplicate it. All right, so we are almost, almost done. Um, one thing again, let's make sure we um, UV unwrap these just so we don't have any problems later. Edit mode. So actually we want to, um, sorry, I misspoke. You want to apply the modifiers first. Apply, apply, apply. Apply, apply, and apply. Cool. Now we grab one of them, go into edit mode, select A, and then just oop, make sure we're in face select, then right click, UV unwrap, smart UV project, and unwrap. Let's do that to the other one. Tap into edit mode. Grab everything with A, right click, UV unwrap faces, smart UV project, and hit unwrap. Cool. Let's give this guy some sort of smile. We're going to do this pretty much the same way we did the eyebrows. Um, so we're going to add in a plane. Kind of scale it. Rotate it on the Y axis by 90 degrees. Move this up. Get this positioned. Right now it's like a super cool mustache. Scale that on the Y axis to make it smaller. Go into edit mode. Let's add in some loop cuts. And then we're just going to grab, oops, we're just going to grab some vertices and kind of make it into a smile. And then like before, we're going to try and get these vertices. Align with the surface. Sweet. All right. So then, like before, we are going to add a um, solidify modifier. Ooh, that's a little too much. I'm just going to type it in point zero two. And then we are going to add a subdivision surface modifier for the hundredth time. Crank that up. Come here and shade auto smooth. And then let's make this. Come back just a little bit more. Cool. I kind of want to make it um, black. Yeah, like the inside of his mouth. Cool. Hey. 
What should we name this guy? Bob? Looks like a Bob to me. Same thing. Let's grab this. Tab into it. Grab all the faces. Actually, whoop. Misspoke. Grab it. Go into um, your modifier tab. Apply all these guys right here. Cool. Now we can grab it. Tab into edit mode. Select A to grab all the faces. Make sure you're in face select mode. Uh, right click. UV unwrap. Smart UV project. And then hit unwrap. Cool. I dig it. Okay. So. Now. Let's get him into Mixamo. So the way that we're going to do this is we're going to highlight all of our parts. Grab every last one of them. Okay. And then we're going to actually export an FBX. So we go to file, export FBX. And then we're just going to put him somewhere, but we want to um, choose selected objects. And then I believe we want to choose copy for the path mode and then toggle this on, which is embed textures. And that's going to grab all of those textures. So character tutorial and then okay just make sure all that's good and then hit export on the fbx i'll see you over in mixamo all right here we are in mixamo um pretty cool free bit of software here so essentially we upload our character and then we can choose from all these pre-done animations it will rig our character and then we can bring that back into blender so first we are going to come to upload character we're going to select our file. So just navigate to where you put yours. I put mine on the desktop. Hit open and let it do its thing. And you can see that we have our guy and he has all of his colors attached to him. That's perfect. That's exactly what we wanted. And that is why we UV unwrap everything. So then we hit next. And all we got to do is tell Mixamo where these things are on our guy just drag the circles and then hit next and if we did it right we'll see our guy with a little test animation and we can look around and make sure everything's working and he looks great so we're just gonna go ahead and hit next so i think that since we made it to the end of the tutorial, we should have him do a little celebration dance. Um, so I like this. Not too bad, right? Oh, he's having a good time. And you have these little um, kind of parameters that we can play with. Like, let's turn up the energy level. Oh, he's really moving. Dang. He's really excited. I'm a real boy. Sorry. All right, so um, if I didn't scare you away with that, let's now download our character. We can keep him as an FBX. We'll just hit download. So now here we are, we're back in Blender. Let's hide everything except for my lights. just to make room for our guy. Okay, so now we're going to file and import. Make sure you're selecting FBX. Navigate to it, probably put it to your downloads. Uh, click that and hit import FBX. And here is our guy with all of his cool dance moves going on. It didn't put him back exactly where we wanted him, so we will have to kind of readjust our lighting. Cool. Okay, so one of the um, cool things about doing it the way that we did is that if we go back to our materials, because we used our UV um, maps and unwrapped everything, we still have all these materials preserved, so we can still change uh, whatever we want on him, which I think is pretty neat. Um, let's give him a little bit of a 
floor. So we'll just shift A, add a plane. Let's make it kind of reflective and shiny. New material, bring that down. What color are we thinking? Ooh, I like this. And then I just want to change the world color. Woo! To kind of match that a little bit. Well, congratulations, you did it. Like I said, all of these techniques, they are they are the basic beginner level. We can do we can do so much more. Um, we can add, you know, accessories to him. I know he's bald. Um, bald is beautiful but if you want to add some hair we can do that you can add facial hair uh, there's there's so much room to to keep growing with this all it takes is practice so um if this helped you out please let me know if there was something that confused you i also want to know about that as well um, and if this video um, inspired you to want to know something more about a different topic please please let me know in the comments um, i try the best that i can to respond to as many people as i can uh, but even if I don't get back to you, the Blender community is so incredible and I promise that somebody in the comments will likely be able to, ke um, to help you. So uh, again, thanks for watching and have a good rest of your day.